I'm a storyteller, that's what it is. My canvas might be about five to 10 miles wide and 400 to 500 miles long. And what I do is look at the towns and histories of communities um, that were once part of the Underground Railroad and um, I have been exploring them, meeting people who were preserving the legacy of the Underground Railroad. I actually started this um, journey on December 24th, 2019. It's been in three parts. The first part was from Maryland's Eastern Shore. In the spring of 2021, I began my next leg of this journey from Philadelphia to Harlem, New York. Another year elapsed and I, there was an opportunity of time and that's when I began this journey on July 14th. Um, and I finally reached uh, Niagara Falls, and then tomorrow morning I'll cross over and complete the last leg um, from Niagara Falls to St. Catherine, Ontario. I have visited Niagara Falls, um, but I wasn't familiar with the story, and I'm still learning about the story um, and the role that Niagara Falls played. I visited Lewiston yesterday, looked at their crossing and just, you know, trying to imagine someone in a rowboat out there on the river with the swirling currents taking people across. It's pretty amazing to see the systems and networks that were put in place to get people across. Sometimes when I would have to get up at 3.30 in the morning um, to begin my walk uh, to beat the heat, um, you know, uh, walking through streets and roads in the middle of night, that's when I began to, you know, um, really kind of feel the soul of the souls uh, that traveled this way. Sometimes I would get emotional, you know, about it. The feeling would be that rich inside of me. You know, as I uh, reached the border, I realized this is my journey to freedom also. I'm seeing it with a different set of eyes and telling a different kind of story, but it's very similar. It's very similar. Mm -hmm.